It is day nine in the trial of Henry Dinkins, the man accused of killing 10-year-old Breasia Terrell back in 2020. And today, prosecutors are switching their focus from the day Breasia disappeared to the day her remains were found. News 8's Nina Burns breaks down new testimony in our continuing coverage. My theory or what no. we have for evidence? Ev evidence. I don't want to have no theories. I want proof. Um, Tensions rise as state prosecutors in the defense finish their questioning of Detective Evan Obert. I'm going to ask you for the third time now. Your Honor, the question has been asked and answered. Sustained. Okay. The heated redirect and cross-examination concludes, pivoting the court to a new topic of discussion. That is, Breja Terrell's remains. In your examination of the skeletal remains, um, did you note any trauma? I did. Forensic anthropologist or bone specialist, Dr. Heather Garvin takes the stand, identifying two bullet impacts on Breja's right shoulder, another in her lower jaw. He just said he was like a father to her. Former Clinton County jail inmates Matt Dean and David Baker take the stand, sharing a comment Dinkins made while watching TV in February of 2021. The news story came on and, and broadcasted that they were continually looking for her and he would state that they were never going to find her. Dinkins uh, <clears throat> said to me uh, they would never find her. But on March 22nd, 2021, three fishermen did find those remains at a pond near the Kunau implement. The first fisherman at the scene testifying he saw something very white out of the corner of his eye. Turns out it was, it was their skull. Um, what did you observe when you got to that location? Uh, human remains. What did you do when you saw that skull? Picked it up. And why did you do that? It's just not something that you see every day. So I picked it up and kind of just sat where I was and looked around, and that's when we found the other remains. The three calling the non-emergency line, unknowingly discovering 10-year-old Breasia Terrell's remains. In Davenport, Nina Burns, WQAD News 8. And we have continuing coverage of the trial. We are streaming it live every day on our website and YouTube page.